Hello, welcome to Orphan Espresso. I'm Doug. And I'm Barb. And uh, this video is an x-ray view of the Fixie. Manual coffee grinder made specifically for travel. Um, when we came about the, the, the criteria for uh, building this grinder, one, it had to be light. Two, it had to be small. Three, it had to be strong to match all of our other products, which are basically, in our opinion, last forever. Uh, and it had to be full function. In other words, you want to be able to make an adequate amount of coffee for two people. Simple. Okay? So, this is our fixie. It weighs 330 grams, and it's built around this burr. This is termed a 47 millimeter conical grinding burr. Okay? It's made by Etzinger, which is a Swiss company. It's two parts, it has cone burr, and we call this the ring burr. Okay? This part here. This weighs what? About 139 grams. 139 grams. So, so that's where we start. Uh, why do we use a steel burr? Because it's much better than a ceramic burr. You can reduce weight in a hand grinder by using a ceramic burr, but you don't get really a great result out of it. It's kind of a crushing action, not a cutting action. So we stick with the steel burr, then we build. And this is the same burr that we use in our Lido grinders. Right, right, it's the same one. Okay, set that aside. So what do we have? Let's start here at the bottom. First, we start out with the catch cup. This is a thin titanium cup with a rolled edge. The titanium, I believe, is 0.6 mm thick, which is extremely light compared with other materials. Stainless steel would be heavier, although manufactured in the same way. Aluminum would be lighter, but not very strong. It has to be quite thick walled in order to have the strength, so it just doesn't dent or crush. It's just very strong material and very light. So that's where we start here. So we start with titanium. Now our next point, I'll put this here so you can get a better background on it. So you can see this more. Our next point is the seal system. How do we keep the jar on? Now this seal, first of all, the simplest thing to do is to put an O-ring. Do you just use an O-ring? So you have a, a metal or a plastic piece here with a groove in it, and then you put the O-ring on. They fail. Uh, they do fail. Uh, they, they get dirty, and the cup won't stay on, uh, or the, they break, they roll out of the, the groove. But you also, in order to mount an O-ring, you need to put material here to put the O-ring in. That adds weight. So our seal is mounted directly on the ring burr. This is the side. This is the side of the burr. Okay? We mount it directly and we designed it in such a way that it has one finger which is a dust excluder which keeps the sealing part clean. And this part goes partly over the top of an O-ring which is right in here and keeps it, the, the jar tight. Okay, so that's the next feature. As we move along, this piece here, this is Delrin, which is a beautifully machinable plastic. It's a high performance plastic. And this is the burr carrier, which is as minimal as we could possibly make it. Now, I think I'll, I'll just go ahead and, and do a little bit of disassembly here so we can show some more features. Take off the handle, take off the disc. All right, when I do this, it just comes right out of the grinder. So it's easy to clean. And this is important to people. Over the years, there have been various things that we've noticed that are extremely important to people. And one is that it's easy to clean. And we just use an old toothbrush, or you can use a new toothbrush if you want to. And you, you clean this burr, and you clean this burr. Let's see if I can show you something. And these burrs are steel, so you shouldn't... Let water sit on them where they will. I rest. haven't taken this off for the longest time. Well, at this point right here, the ax this axle screws on. 
This is made of aircraft aluminum, and uh, which is strong as steel. It's a. It's not your usual, you know, 6061, 6063. This is 7000 series aluminum. But to get this axle straight requires extensive machining after you, you cut it on the, on the CNC machine. This is also aircraft aluminum. This is the carrier, okay? The burr is pressed onto the carrier. So it's permanently put onto the carrier. You basically, in, the, in order to get the, the burr off of the carrier, you have to pound it out. So, uh, and there's no reason to remove the burr from the, from, the, from the carrier. It has a pin inside that, that matches with a hole in order. So, so you have your, drive. your drive. Okay, so there we have our, our axle. Now, let's get down to the body here. For this, I need my glasses. Uh, excuse me. Now, one of the things that was very important to us uh, when designing this grinder is that it be simple. And there's, I'm going to put those in the jar so I don't lose them on the black thing. Okay, we have two screws. This is a two and a half millimeter metric. Okay, there it is. This is our burr carrier with ring burr. Now, what I have left, so the silicone cover for the home. What I have left is this part. Now, this is permanently assembled. Okay, we have a carbon fiber tube. And once again, this carbon fiber is one millimeter thick. And a similar thickness of stainless steel would be heavier. Uh, uh, aluminum uh, would have to be much thicker in, in order to have the rigidity, but this is extremely rigid material, okay? We have a, this is a Delrin bushing here and a Delrin bushing here. We chose Delrin because of its natural slick property, very slippery, and uh, also, uh, once again, weight. Every time we had a question, every time we talked about a material, it was like, can you make it lighter? This piece alone is quite light. I don't have my scale right here, but you know, you have a scale if you'd like to weigh these things, fine. Okay. But these two pieces, they can be machined with high level of centricity on the center and on the collar that the carbon fiber presses onto. This is, these, these are pressed together. Okay, and our important f factor here is the precise length of the carbon fiber tube. Yeah, so in the body you have three aspects that are really important. You need each end of the tube to be parallel to each other. Right. That end needs to be perpendicular to the tube itself. Right. And the end caps have to be centric exactly and fit the tube correctly perfectly right and it, uh, a lot of this in manufacturing uh, some of this is trial and error is that if you, you start out with a 3d drawing and then you make a 2d cad drawing it goes to the guy they make the part and then you fit them together and then you adjust the parts so they fit properly and they work how you want them to work it's basically the way that this is done now somewhat controversial and part of the innovation of this grinder is to have the bean fill on the side. The reason that we did that is that it frees up this top for you to do a lot with. In this case, what we do is we use a system. This is what we call our fixie disc. Okay? The fixie disc does two things. It creates the gap the burr gap, and it's a bearing system, surface, it's a thrust, thrust bearing surface for smooth turning. So this does two things, and it also enables us, once again, to make the grinder lighter, because we don't have this big complex threaded system up here on the top or on the bottom. So, 
Everything we did is to make it lighter. Once again, Delrin makes it lighter. Aluminum disc would be beautiful, shiny and sparkly, but it would be heavier. So, once we get up into the handle area, this part became very important. This is the drive disc. Okay, because we have a very nice tight fit here. And with this tight fit, you don't get sloppy movement. Therefore, you don't get wear of this aluminum. So we have the drive disc, and finally we have the, the top nut that holds the whole thing together. Okay, so let me show you the simplicity of this is that I will go ahead and put this back on. So you have the, the, the hopper has been permanently attached and our only adjustment for alignment those screws and back them off so that they're loose. All right. Now, the, there's a little bit of movement. Okay? That's how we make our alignment. In goes the axle. Basically, that's generally enough to align the, the burrs. But once again, everything is on center. Everything is in the center except this part. When we drop them together, it's centered. So when I drop it down and tighten the two screws, that's all there is to it. I'll snug this down a little. Snug that one. Snug this one. That's it. Let me go ahead and uh, I'll put on my one of my fixie discs. I'll put on the handle. We've since made a little bit of a chamfer on that hole, so it's easier to get going. And this goes back on. Push that all the way down. And the uh, last thing I would want to say is the the uh, the seal was really tricky to work out because when you just use an O-ring and you you pull it off and it's a very aggravated thing when you throw your coffee all, all over the place. <laughs> so yes. yeah, with this this you know, it just just cracks it off. Just like that. It worked out quite well. So, a combination of uh, design, uh, materials, uh, simplicity uh, goes together to produce, to start with 139 grams. We add basically 200 grams to make a complete grinder, which holds 30 grams of coffee. That's part of the point. Basically, full format, full size, smooth turning, it's all good. So, that's the Fixie, that's the X-Ray View. Thank you very much.